So instead of having rain, which is liquid water droplets like here on Earth, it would be raining liquid rubies. And the search for the weirdest weather in the universe is only just beginning. Death Valley, California. One of the most extreme and alien environments on Earth. Planetary explorer Suzanne Smirkar has come here because it shares a surprising similarity to our nearest neighbor, Venus. Venus is the brightest object in the night sky. And the reason it's so bright is because it's covered in thick clouds. And when you turn your telescope to it, you can see nothing of the surface. All you see is this bright reflection coming back at you because of the cloud deck. It's kept it you know, shrouded in mystery. Because Venus is a similar size to Earth and also relatively close to us, astronomers once believed it would have a climate much like ours. But to discover what Venus was really like, we needed to go there. At the dawn of the space age, people started to explore. It was, it was the Cold War in the 60s, and the Soviets in the US were you know, sending spacecraft after spacecraft, trying to be the first out there. A huge number of spacecraft have been hurled at Venus, and there were many attempts to get to the surface. In the late 1960s, the Russians succeeded. The one that finally made it to the surface was Venera 7 in 1967. And that probe uh, fell gently through the atmosphere, got to the surface, and survived for only about two hours. Before they died, the Venera probes revealed the true nature of Venus's climate. Venus has a surface temperature of 462 Celsius, which makes it the hottest place in the solar system. And the atmospheric pressure on Venus is uh, almost 100 times that on the Earth. With surface temperatures hot enough to melt lead, an oppressive atmosphere of carbon dioxide, and belching clouds made of sulfuric acid, Venus is a planetary vision of hell. We knew for the first time that Venus is not a swampy, uh, verdant region teeming with life, but instead it's a, a hellish, hot inferno. Venus is the hottest planet in the solar system, but it's not the closest to the sun. 